ISIS is claiming responsibility this morning for a massive suicide truck bombing south of Baghdad. It killed more than 60 people Sunday. In northern Iraq, the United States is helping local troops gear up for a new offensive against ISIS in Iraq's second largest city. Holly Williams and her crew got caught up in the middle of the chaos. Holly, good morning. Good morning. Iraqi and American leaders have been talking about recapturing Mosul for over a year now. It's still not clear when the long-awaited battle will actually happen, but we visited Kurdish troops outside the city who are readying for the offensive. 20 miles from Mosul, Kurdish soldiers open fire. They've spotted what they think are two ISIS gunmen moving towards their post. And it's no wonder they're nervous here. The day before our visit, there was a coordinated ISIS attack. The Kurdish soldiers fought the extremists back and told us they killed nearly 100 ISIS fighters. And that's ISIS over there. They're only about a mile away. We crossed into no man's land to inspect the aftermath. This is all that's left of a Humvee detonated by a suicide bomber. It's blown to smithereens. ISIS will doubtless use the same ruthless tactics to defend Mosul. ISIS is thought to have several thousand fighters in Mosul, but now they're stopping civilians from leaving the city, which means effectively that they have more than a million human shields. When ISIS captured Mosul nearly two years ago, many people cheered their convoy in the street. But General Najim al-Jabouri, who's leading preparations for the Mosul offensive, told us he's counting on the help of civilians. I think about 75 or 80 percent from the people in Mosul, they will support us. 80 percent will support you, but 20 percent are still supporting ISIS. Yeah, with ISIS. The general told us the fight for Mosul could last several months. Iraq says the recent battle to reclaim Ramadi left 80% of the city destroyed. Gail? All right, Holly Williams reporting in Iraq. I'm glad, glad she's okay. She needs to call home immediately and let them know that yeah. I'm fine. That was scary stuff. Yeah, but important reporting to know what's going on Very in Iraq so. and certainly what they're doing in the fight to retake many of those towns from ISIS. And Brett McGurk, who's in the charge on that, it says today in the paper that they've recaptured 40% of that lost territory in ISIS. Well, from ISIS, there. rather. Mm -hmm. Molly's there bringing it to us. Thank you again, Holly.